Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with creamy ham and butternut squash spaghetti. Oh man, this was so delicious that I had to show you even though I filmed it at night and I never film at night because I really like the natural light. So please pardon any substandard lighting issues, but I think it's totally worthwhile checking this out. So here we go. I'm gonna start with a pan on medium heat with some olive oil and a big handful of sliced smoked ham. Now I'm using what's called black forest ham. Pretty much anything's gonna work here, including, yes, bacon. But I cooked my ham in that olive oil for about three or four minutes, just until the edges kinda started to caramelize a little. All right, at that point, I threw in some sliced garlic, a good amount, and you know the drill. We don't wanna burn the garlic or get it too dark. So we're gonna cook that in that hot oil just until the edges barely start to turn golden. And when it looks like that, we're gonna pour in some chicken stock or chicken broth, not too much. We're gonna bring that up to a simmer and I'm gonna dump in my cubed butternut squash. So dump that in, give it a stir. And what we're gonna do here, we're basically gonna braise that butternut squash with the ham and that little bit of broth until it's just barely tender. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot of salt. We'll adjust that later. I'm gonna give it a nice big pinch of hot red chili flakes. You know, I like a little heat usually in everything. All right, I'm gonna throw the lid on here. I'm gonna leave it on medium heat. If I have to add a splash of stock or broth along the way, no problem. But basically we're just gonna cook that covered until that squash is just tender. So mine took approximately 15 minutes, it'll depend. But when you can smash one of those cubes of squash, it's ready. Now you could have added this at any time, but here I decided to add a nice, generous dose of freshly ground black pepper. And then what makes it creamy, mascarpone cheese. Now very important here, this can't be boiling. I want you to turn this down to the lowest, lowest setting. Add your cheese and slowly stir it in. We need to be very gentle with this. We don't wanna boil it, we don't wanna break it, we don't wanna do anything severe to it. Okay, so keep it moving. It will melt pretty quickly and look like that. Beautifully creamy and luxurious. All right, last but not least, a nice big pinch of freshly chopped Italian parsley. Stir that in. All right, you could also replace that parsley with sage. That would be very appropriate, I think. All right, now you can basically turn that off and cover it until your pasta is cooked, which hopefully you've already started. I'm gonna boil one package of whole grain spaghetti. That's why it looks a little dark. When that's done, I wanna drain it really well. Do not rinse. Put it back in the pot. Pour over your hot sauce. Mix it thoroughly. You know, give it a minute to kind of soak in a little bit. You know our system with pastas. We never pour the sauce over the pasta on the plate. Mix it first. A little Parmesan cheese, maybe. Maybe a little more hot pepper. Up to you. Now, you can make this any time of year, but for whatever reason, it just seems even more delicious in the fall or winter when the weather's a little cold. Serve it up in a bowl. Maybe a little more Parmesan. That never hurts. And that is one fabulous bowl of pasta. That smoky ham, that sweet, earthy squash, the creamy mascarpone cheese, just beautiful together. Maybe a squeeze of fresh lemon in here to brighten it up wouldn't have been a bad idea. I didn't do it, but you know, something you could try. Anyway, there you go. Creamy ham and butternut squash spaghetti. I hope you give that a try. All the ingredients are on foodwishes.com, so go check it out. And as always, enjoy.